one is written for you, but I'm not going to do example one for you. Um, and the reason why I'm not going to do example one for you, listen, is because you guys already know how to do substitution, right? You guys already know how to solve quadratic <laughs> equations, right? Yes, because we've been doing that. So I want you to try, I would do it in pencil so you can fix it if you need to, but try this problem with what you know about substitution and quad solving quadratics. Okay, and you can work with the people in your group if you need to, that's fine. And then you can work through, if you finish A, you can work on B and C. <coughs> For x plus 5 squared? How can you rewrite x plus 5 squared? Think about what squaring something means. By itself. So how could I rewrite, instead of writing x plus 5 squared, how could I rewrite? Mm -mm, don't square it. x plus 5 times what? Not times, but yeah. say it again. X plus five times X plus five. Yes, so rewrite it like that, and then you'll see it. Usually students can see it better when it's written out. That's what I did, but then I got this answer, and this is like, so would it be adjustable? Um, this should be parentheses still. You distributed the two. There you go. Rewrite it the way you just told me to. Mm. Talk to Fabiola. See what she's doing. 